Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher. Everybody, praise the higher. One more time, praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God a higher, the Bible called Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters. If you're brand new to the channel, I pray that this channel will be the home for the prophetic for you. You are absolutely welcome here. I'm really happy to have you on board where we will learn together. All right. And thank you for those of you who have blessed me through PayPal and also on this platform. All right. Check the description box in the pinned comment section for stuff all right brothers and sisters okay <laughs> all right for stuff okay um i want to continue with donald trump this is very very important because we're heading into the last days into these final hours on this channel though no no but anybody else but on this channel we have identified barack obama as the biblical antichrist since 2050 there's you check my playlist antichrist obama since 2015 2016 we've been saying it we've been calling it out even when some people didn't understand what was going on we've always maintained on this channel we haven't changed i've never ever 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 come and turn and say, oh, well, you know, brothers and sisters, oh, no, I've made a mistake. No. From 2015 up until 2024, we've always maintained, we've given the prophecies, so many prophecies concerning Barack Obama. You just need to check my playlist. If people just check the playlist, you'll understand. It's called Antichrist Obama. When you have time, check my playlist, Antichrist Obama. And I've got a playlist called Trump, Donald Trump. Antichrist Obama and another playlist called Donald Trump, another place, U.S. election. As a matter of fact, brothers and sisters, if you're watching this, please go to the playlist, of, uh, you know, and go through it and see what you want to watch. So you'll understand how long I've been on YouTube warning. It's not yesterday. It's not two months ago. It's not a year ago. It's not two years, not three years. 2015. It's a long time. It's a long time, certain warning of yourself been coming through. But one of the things and one of the prophecies that the most uh, high showed me is with Donald Trump. And from 2016, I want you to listen to me very, very carefully. From 2016 up until now, everything has always remained the same. Now we're in 2024, Babylon, U.S. election. And some people might say, oh, Sister Karen, you know, why are you talking about the election? You have to, because that is where the Antichrist will come from. Out of Babylon. It's not Europe, as some people say. It's not Europe. Just because they talk of the flags, like bear and leopard and, you know, this and that. It's not Europe. The same place over there in Babylon. Babylon, U.S., right? So... I just want to add a little more meat. I call it meat because a lot of people won't be able to chew this. <laughs> they won't be able to chew it, all right? But it's meat that is coming. Yesterday, I've uploaded a video. Again, check my Donald Trump playlist. So yesterday, I uploaded a video concerning Donald Trump. And that, that, yeah, I said Donald Trump will be president, but not the way you think. Here's an issue I have with some brothers and sisters, and it's, you know, you mustn't lie, right? Because you're not doing yourself any justice. You see the title, you run in the comment section, and you think, oh, you said this and you said, you ever watch the video? You have to watch the video before you comment. I don't mind brothers and sisters coming in and saying, hello, Sister Karen, how are you? That's different because brothers and sisters do that anyways. Even before they watch a video, they'll come in the comment section, God bless you, Sister Karen, and that's fine. I hire bless you. Absolutely fine. But when it comes to the meat of the matter, you're going to talk about the video. You have to watch it. You just don't go by the heading and then come in the comment section and then start to make war with me. You don't do that. 
you watch the video and you listen to what the Lord is saying. So in the video that I uploaded yesterday, it was a vision that I had and another beautiful beloved had. And I shared the two visions, very similar, very, very identical, really and truly. That, you know, um, it was basically Donald Trump will be president. But not the way how you think. Not the way how we think, brothers and sisters. Because we're using Revelation 17 and verse 10. Now, I know that a lot of you, because you came in the comment section, and I'm not here to change your mind. So you have to believe who you want to believe. It's just that simple. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm not here to convict or to convince you. I'm just here to give the prophecies. That is my role. That is my job. Now, part of the saying is that Kamala Harris will be president. That's what they say. I don't know who is saying it, but people are saying well, they send it in the comment section. Sister Karen, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. We're coming back to this video. We're going to call you out, you know, after Babylon. They don't call it Babylon. After, you know, U.S. election, we're going to call you out because you are wrong. Because Kamala will be president. And I'm here to tell you that she's not going to be president. Might win whatever she's winning, this winning, that winning, that. It ain't going to happen, brothers and sisters. We're using, we're in Revelation we're in Revelation um, 17.10. That, that is the biblical basis of my prophecies concerning Donald Trump and Barack Obama. Revelation 17 and verse 10. At the end of the day, if you understand who the Antichrist is, you will understand Revelation 17.10. Like, literally. There's no if, but if you don't know who the Antichrist is or you're not sure, you're going to be on the iffy side. So because we are certain on this channel, it is concrete. So that is why I can come with boldness and confidence. And I can tell you that Kamala Harris will not be president. Should Kamala Harris be president, I can tell you that we are nowhere near in the end times. Like, we probably got another 100 years or 50 years to go. Honestly, it's not. It's not. Uh, we're so close. We are so, so close, right? So, remember, I told you, brothers and sisters, where the second exodus is concerned, that before the second exodus can happen, Barack Obama must, without him, we ain't going nowhere. He's got to take power. He's got to be in office. He's got to be the president of Babylon, U.S. It's the truth. He's got to be. I don't think he's going to be one world leader straight away. But do you see anything is possible, ain't it? Anything is possible. But anyway, he's got to take power, not hiding behind Joe Biden and running the show. No, physically. Like he declared that, you know, these Democratic and Republican and everybody come together, do special election and declare them as Babylon U.S. the eighth king. I know you talk about the 45 president. We're not talking about that. Bible talks about the last seven kings of Babylon, U.S. Very important. Kings, not queen. Kings, right? So when Trump gets into office, I don't know how. But it's not going to be the way how you think. I want, I want you to understand that. I want you to know that Donald Trump will get into office, but not the way how you think he's going to get in. Please understand that. I did say Democrats going to win. Something may happen. Shift the balance. Trump gets in. But it's not. But either way, either way, Trump, <laughs> Donald Trump is going to run Babylon. I'm telling you, he's going to be, he's going to be president. There's no if, buts, or maybe. It is going to happen, brothers and sisters. I'm laughing because I can see it, right? But it's not the way how you think he's going to get in, but he will. <laughs> so... The meat of this video is this. When Donald Trump gets into office, and because of the way how he got in, I don't believe it's going to be a legal way. That's, that's how I'm seeing things. It's not going to be legal. 
it's gonna get in but it's gonna be a bit dodgy right but anyway so once he gets in and he's doing his thing and what if you want you and babylon was very very happy especially you know the evangelicals and the his, his own people yeah his own people um very very happy america great again we've got our man in office this that one of you um what the Lord showed me in certain, that's why you need to watch my Trump playlist, honestly. Like, you need to watch it. Because what the most I show me is that he's going to lose his mind. Which means that he's going to do some stuff that's going to be out of the ordinary in the days to come. When I say days to come, I don't mean a couple of days. It's a spiritual talk, right? It means it's going to happen quickly. He's going to lose his mind. So he's going to, so he's going to do things that's risky and unsafe in while he's in, he's, he's in office. But he's not going to be there long. He won't be there long. And I, I, I give him. I give Trump. Two years max. Or less. Between one to two years. Some people say three. In the comment section. Because some of my brothers and sisters are very alert. Very alert on this channel. Some say three years. Could be, but I, how I see it, I give him one to two before they unalive him because that's how they're going to unalive. Because they've got to rally up the base, not only the base in America, but the base all over the world because there's going to be a race war. And the race war will start when a black man, unfortunately, unalive Trump. I cannot lie. I never lie. He's the spirit of truth. 2016, I already gave him the vision in 2016. It's a long time. It's on the playlist underneath Trump. <laughs> on the playlist underneath good old Trump. Where I saw the big massive broadcast coming in. Donald Trump has been on a live. By the assassin business. Assassin business, right? So that is going to kick off a big massive horrible, 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 horrible. How dare black man kill our main guy? You're mad. You're mad. No, man, we're going for black people. All over the world, that's where the race war. That is why when you read Revelation 12, I can align to study the Bible to show yourself a proof. It's all good and well, brothers and sisters, you listen to prophets and prophetesses to clean the air. But if you don't know the word, you're going to be led astray. You cannot blame anybody. You cannot say, oh, well, yes, I didn't know. Well, you didn't know because you don't study the word. You're, you're listening to prophets, you're listening to prophetesses, you hear what they're saying, but you're not backing it up with scripture. On this channel, we back up with scripture. So that's why I'm so confident in the things that I tell you. And I'm at peace because I'm not leading you astray. So that's why the woman in Revelation 12, who represents the highest people, the Hebrew Yeshaelites, and some of the church folks who is going to be fleeing, this is called the Great Worldwide Second Exodus, Bible says that the dragon spit water after the woman. So the water that is spit all after the woman is all over the world. So the serpent, sorry, the serpent spit water after the woman. And I believe that the serpent is the racist people all over the world. That is who the serpent, because at one point I was thinking, oh, it's the Antichrist. Still the Antichrist, but when I break it down and I'm seeing it through the spirit, the water that is spit after the woman is war. And I thought, I think I've done a video on it. I thought, and I did say a thought. I didn't say a higher said. I did say a thought. I thought, and I've said it in one of the videos, that it could be World War. It could be World War Three. Could be World War Three. But now as prophecy is closing in, and we're getting closer and closer and closer, this, this the serpent that spits the water, after the woman to take her away or to devour or to kill or to unalive as many, this is going to be the race war, the worldwide race war when Donald Trump is unalive. Because like I say, this man, when he comes into power, one of his things is going to make sure that he rallies the base all over the world, his people, the racist. It is what it is, brothers and sisters. But you'll see in the time to come, in the days to come. So that's one of his key motto 
is to rally the base all over the world because he is going to be loved. <laughs> he is going to he is going to be loved a great lot. Not just a tiny lot, it's almost on a worshiping type level business. That's 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 Trump. So when he's on a live, all right, after one to two years, some people say three, all right, some people say three, but one to two years, stuff like that. So you can, if you, if that's the case, then the second exodus is within two to three years. It's truth. Exodus and out of Babylon is within one to three years, you have to say, because one Trump is unalive, Barack Obama will come. He will take power. Revelation 17 and verse 10 is your key. Revelation 17 and verse 10 and Revelation 12. The woman in Revelation 12 and the dragon spitting water after the woman. Once you understand those two things, you'll understand prophecy. You, you, you know where we are. This is why I can say Kamala Harris. I don't know why people are saying Kamala is going to be president. I, I, I don't know because if you study in the world, like Babylon, U.S. is not prophesied to have a female president anyways. Like it's not. Because they're in the Bible. They're called Mr. Babylon. And another thing that I see people, what time is it? Another thing that I see people, I'm a Facebook Christian. I'm a Facebook and I, and I just shake my head. I just like, wow. So they're using Revelation, what is it? Revelation 17? Is it Revelation 17? I do beg a pardon if I, if, if I get it wrong. But the scarlet woman, the woman in purple sitting on the beast, they say that's Camilla. They said that's Kamala Harris sitting on the beast. It's not her. That's a church. That's a fake, full apostate church. There's two women in Revelation 12. Sorry, there's two women, two women in the book of Revelation. The righteous woman and the unholy woman. The righteous woman really represents the true people of the Most High. And the other one sitting on the beast is the unholy woman or the unholy church or the fakes or the you know the what you call them the imposters but it's not Kamala Harris I, I was laughing I was like oh wow it's not Kamala Harris so you can take that out of your mind if you if you think that you're gonna get muddled up with prophecies you will it's not it's a church it's a fake apostate church sitting on the beast because you've got to understand that the Antichrist is going to declare himself to be a higher. Baba already tell you that the Antichrist, he is, after he's broke his promise, he's going to make a promise with small people. When he comes into power, he's going to make a promise to small people, a covenant to, with small people. And again, you have, because people don't read the Bible, they said, oh, yeah, 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 this covenant is with you know, Israel, the, the modern day state. The Bible never say that. It said small people. So you've got to ask the most that who is small people to get the interpretation, but it didn't say Israel, right? Um, or the Zionist Jews, it didn't say that. So Antichrist is coming. The serpent or the racist that's dotted all over the world. I've done a video concerning that already. You need to check my UK, UK election 2024. I talk about the racist and where they're coming from and why they do what they do. Check my playlist, check my playlist, UK election 2024. You will understand what is going on. But certainly brothers and sisters, Mr. Trump, I give him one to two. You may give him more, it's up to you, but that's, that's, that's what I'm seeing in my spirit. Because it's not going to last, he will be taken out, he will be unalive. But it's not going to be the real one, you know that. The real one will be going underneath bunkers. 
but I'm going to pick a real one. Being very, very close. It's going to look like him, going to act like him, but it's, it's a fake one. But nevertheless, um, the whole entire world is going to say, oh, they have taken out our beloved Trump. You've seen a little taster of it. The Lord showed you a little taster over here in Babylon, UK. Where a so-called fallen angel who, yeah, shape-shifted, my God, shape-shifted into a black person. Did what he did on the life three little white girls and injured another 11. And you saw what happened. Even though the police caught this person and have him in custody that's what they say right have him there in custody it still wasn't enough because the racist were going after the black we want blood for blood so it was just a little foreshadowing of what is to come so the euphoria around donald trump when he gets into office is going to be mad people are going to love him <laughs> are you listening church right because the delusion is strong especially the the born again christians in church oh sent by the mouth and plus donald trump going to church lifting up hands and waving they're gonna say no oh, he's sent by jesus that's what i'm gonna say they're sent by jesus oh but everything is a show everybody have their parts to play but the second exodus is close i'm excited do you know what because you know i'm excited because i, can't, I have a date to work with Hallelujah. Of a date. Or a not date really, but a time span to work with with the second Exodus. Two to three years, I believe, that this thing is going to kick off. Because, because between now and three years, things are going to get massively wicked. Massively evil. Massively, brothers and sisters. Massively, massively, massively evil. Every year, things just get wickeder and wickeder. Like nobody's business. You hear me rice over there? I'm cooking some rice <laughs> on the water. Anyways, um, but I wanted to come. Uh, this is very, very important. So I want you to hold this prophecy. Um, where am I noticing? I want you to hold this prophecy in your heart so you understand the times and the season. But Donald Trump is going to get back into office. He, there's no if, buts, and me. It won't be Camilla. Trump is going back, brothers and sisters. Like I say, I don't know how, but it's not the way how we think. That is very important. Not the way how we think, but Trump, Trump certainly, certainly, certainly will. I don't even want to say win. I don't want to even use the word win. To be fair, I don't want to use the word win, but he's going to get back to the Oval Office somehow, some way. So we just watch prophecy. When that begins to happen, you can count your time for the Antichrist. You can count your time for the second Exodus. You will have your cue. And I'll be on here like a hawk, telling brothers step by step what is coming, what is happening. It's exciting times. I'm literally excited because I feel like now I've been talking about this thing since 2015. I didn't have a timeline. I was just giving, you know, the prophecies. But now I feel, hallelujah, I feel I've got a timeline to work with where the exodus is concerned. Hallelujah. It's beautiful. I'm so happy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because we need a timeline, don't we, really and truly? I mean, we have a timeline, but I mean season. Just didn't know which season. We're going to we're always say, you know, we're in this season. It's going to happen in this season, but we don't have a date. But I feel so close. Thank you, sweet Savior, as we're getting closer and closer. But brothers and sisters, you know, listen to me. I cannot tell you who to listen to. This channel is not going to ever tell you who to listen to. You listen to who you want to, honestly. If people are giving prophecies and you feel comfortable in this and that, then, you know, do your thing. But what I will say to you is for you not to get deceived and to understand prophecy, you have to back certain things up with scripture. Not everything comes with scripture. All right. Not everything comes with scripture, but certainly um, certain things you'll be able to back up. All right, you'll be able to back up. But yeah, I wanted to come in quickly, do this video. So be bold, be strong, 
be courageous, just walk with Ahaya, just like Enoch, have the mindset of Job, or oh, praises, or oh, beautiful praises to the most high Ahaya, who lives above the heavens, Ahaya, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon someday in glory. In Yesaya's holy name, amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, the Bible reads, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you forth less before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the unwise Messiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.